everybody. Um, breaking out a really nice song that uh, I've seen played all kinds of different ways. And uh, this is the way I think is closest to the record. I mean, you don't have to play it the same way as the record, but this is sort of what he does. And the crazy thing that makes it so unusual is the way he tunes the guitar. So I'm going to have to show you that first. So what we have here is a B. So it's brought down much lower. It's a bit flappy actually. But anyway, and all the others are Ds. All the same note. So this one is brought down to D. This next one stays where it is. This one is brought down to D as well. This one, second string, has brought up to D. And this is where, I'm very sorry, but if you break it, it's, you know, don't use too thick a string. So this is a D as well, brought up. And this one is brought down one step. Okay, so what's tricky is, Having a light gauge string will not let this one break, but this won't be floating around. So I guess if you're a professional, you'll probably play with two different sets of strings to get all the tensions right, which I haven't done, so it sounds in some parts a bit, you know, that one doesn't have much life left in it. It's brought down so low. But anyway, this is the phrasing of the intro. So we're at 4th string, 12th fret. And fifth string, um, what's that? Ninth. Okay? And so we strum, you can always strum the whole part. And then we go down to fifth fret. part, we're here on 3rd fret, and you have to mute the two bottom ones. And I'd give up forever to touch you. So we're 3rd, 5th, and 8th. Give up forever to touch you. 12th. Cause I know that you feel me somehow. So 12, 10, 8. Closest to heaven that I'd ever And then we have the chorus, which is close to the same thing. We start at the 12th. And I don't want the world to see me. Because I don't think they'd understand. 